What's going on guys? Welcome to the Advanced Bitcoining for 1.16 series. It is Coded Red here. And in today's episode, we're talking about attributes. Now 1.16, they kind of got rid of the NMS way of doing attributes and they want us to do the actual Spigot API method way. And it's really simple. It's only like one line of code to actually make the attribute modifier. So this episode's gonna be pretty quick. So what the plugin does is if I hold one of these raw muttons, you see that these raw muttons really don't do anything. They're just food. But if I type in slash transform, it'll start to glow and we get this attack damage bonus of a hundred. So now our actual munin <laughs> attacks at a hundred. So if I punch something, it instantly kill them. See, punch it instantly dies. It has attack damage of a hundred. Really, I kind of just a random plugin that I just thought of real quick, just to teach you guys how to do the attribute modifiers. So like I said, in 1.16, it kind of changed. So we have to learn how to do this actual, actual um, modifier method. And like I said, it's super easy. Let's go right into it. I went ahead and I created the project already. Zoom in real quick. I have the main class, which I call an attack Addy. That's what the project is called, attack Addy. Addy stands for attribute. And then I have a bonus command and this is going to be just the command slash bonus. And then the plugin.yml has nothing special in it. This has what the normal stuff is, the main, the name, the version, the author, and then our command bonus. Our main class has nothing special, but I did register the command bonus in our on enable. And then our bonus class has just a normal command executor. This is all really basic stuff that we should know how to do. This is an advanced series, so I kind of, you know, throw that code in already. So let's get into the actual attribute code. And I'm in my command class now. So really the command, like you saw, I ran, I ran uh, slash transform. This command is it's going to be called slash bonus. And that's going to add in some sort of attribute modifier to our item that we're holding. So the first thing you want to check is actually if the player is a player. So if the player is not a player, this right here means that the player is a console. So if the player is not instance of, I mean, the sender is not instance of a player, that means it's a console and all we really need to type in here is return true. You can send a message to the sender if you want. Hey, can't run this command. You must be a player, blah, blah, blah. But once we know it's a player, let's go ahead and create that player, player, player equals a cast of a player to the sender. Like I said, we're just transforming the item in the main hand. So what if they don't have an item in the main hand? That's going to cause an error for us. So we need to check. So if player dot get inventory dot get item in main hand dot get type dot equals and I'm going to move down the line dot equals material dot air then that means holding no items all we really want to say in here is player that send message uh, we can just say must be ho holding an item and we type in return true so if the item in their main hand, the type of the item in the main hand is just air, that means they're not holding an item. So we can just cancel them out and say, hey, you must be holding an item. Now, uh, like I said in the beginning, there is no NMS. So in our imports, make sure you're using the bucket imports and not the NMS ones, because there is no NMS in this episode. All right, next thing. We created this if statement and we know it's a player. We know they're holding some sort of item in their hand. What can we do next? We can actually create that attribute. So this right here is the main point of this episode is the attribute modifier. I'm gonna call it modifier. And we'll hit an, an import attribute modifier. Like I said, not NMS. It is the bucket dot attribute dot attribute modifier one. Once we actually import it in, we can say equals a new attribute modifier and we'll just close bracket that 
and we'll get this little error message. What does the error message say? It's saying, hey, you need to add some arguments in here. You need to add in the argument of a string, a double operation, a UOU ID, blah, 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 blah. We're gonna add all of them in there. So I wanna show you guys what every single one means. So we're gonna add every single one in there. First thing we're gonna add is the UUID dot random UUID. And I guess I'll zoom real quick. So the first one is this UUID. Just like when you create an NPC it, or really anything special, I guess, they have like their own ID number. A player has a, a, your own ID number. So we're creating this modifier that has its own ID number. So we're able to, you know, do stuff with it later on. It doesn't, not that big of a deal, but I think it's really important to add this in. So we're adding in a UID, random ID number. And then once we have that, so you're gonna add that in every single time. The next thing you're gonna do is the actual name. This is the name of the modifier, 1.16. I mean, it's really, doesn't really matter in this version and NMS it does, but in this, with this method, you can kind of put whatever you want. You say, this is my mod my modifier. I mean, really, whatever you want. Uh, typically, what you should do is kind of type in what type is. So, generic dot attack damage. So, that is my name for the modifier because that is what our modifier is. It's a generic modifier. And the modifier it does is attack damage. I recommend you doing this because at NMS, you kind of have to do it like that. But this is our generic modifier. After we have the name of it, we need the amount. Now this amount does not mean anything right now. I'm gonna put a hundred there, but it doesn't mean anything. I'm gonna put a comma and what, what I mean, why am I saying it doesn't mean anything? Because it doesn't mean anything until you actually put the operation in. So what type operation dot, You'll see a bunch of different options. There's only three you can actually choose from. It is the add number, the add scaler, multiply scaler. So these are the three that you can choose from. Actually, probably addition two. Yeah, addition will be one of them. But these are the three you can choose from. So why did I say the amount doesn't mean anything? Because we don't know what it means. Are we adding a number? Or are we multiplying it by that number? Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> We're adding that number. So I'll tell you operation add number. And once you do that, you see that it's all good. No error messages. But there is one more argument that we can actually put in there. So comma, equipment slot. And when you type in equipment slot dot, you'll see all the different options. We are dealing with the hand. So whatever item in their hand, that's what we're adding the attribute to. All right. Our absolute moder modifier is all done. By the end of this episode, I'm gonna be really, gonna be really sick of saying attribute. But once we have that modifier done, let's go ahead and create that item. And it's gonna be an item stack. Item equals a equals a player. Dot get inventory. Dot get item in main hand. So once we get that item in their main hand, we'll type in item meta meta equals item dot get item meta and just like this is how you add a modifier add a modifier by saying meta dot add attribute modifier type in the attribute you want so like i said the name is kind of whatever you want it to be but this is really important when you type in attribute dot you'll see there's i don't know like 20 30 different options you can choose from and the one that we're doing is the attack damage. And the modifier we're adding to that damage is the modifier we just created. And boom, we're done. That right there is how you add an AppStream modifier. Now, what can this be used for? Obviously, you can use it to make some special sword. Say, hey, I want something better than Netherite sword. Let's create the Netherite 2 squared sword and that does double the damage you can add a modifier in there and that does double the damage now what do i use it for i use attributes for hiding values to items i have two different plugins i have an xp bottle plugin and i have a money note plugin basically you can put your xp or money into an item and you can trade the item whatever do whatever you want with it and the way i have that value 
say I withdraw $100 from my balance, I hide the $100 in the attributes. And I don't make it attack damage, obviously, because then they'll be punching everyone. I make it to like some random one that doesn't really do anything. So I'm able to hide some sort of value in the attributes. And that can be pretty useful for a lot of plugins. I know there's quite a few people that do that. I think it's awesome if you can. And um, yeah, so that's why what I use attributes for. One thing to make note of is in the early builds of 1.16.1, attributes were broken. So if this doesn't work, if you run this on your server and this plugin doesn't work, go ahead and re-download Spigot Jar. Go ahead and redo the Spigot because you're probably using the like a really early version, and then early ones are broken. They come out with new builds, you know, like every day, probably every hour. They probably come new. My 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 Spigot Jar is already outdated by about 50 versions, and they come out with new builds that fix stuff, and obviously they fix the attribute one really quick. But if it doesn't work, like I said, just go ahead and download a new version of Spigot. All right. We're actually not really done yet. We're going to do item meta to meta. And then we're to send a message player.send message. We're going to say transformed all in caps. And we're going to say check color dots. Uh, we'll do gold gold this time all right so we added that modifier to the item we sent the message blah, blah blah let's go ahead and run on the server and see if it works so we'll export it as a jar file let's name this thing attack addy I'm gonna reload my server Let's test this thing out. Now, uh, while my server loads up, I'm actually go to this website real quick. I'll put the link for these two websites in the description below. But this first one right here is just the actual Spigot hub. It's like the um, the docs for Spigot. And this is the attribute page, where it shows you all different attributes, what they do and like, you know, how to use them and stuff. And really just, these are all just enums, so it's pretty simple. I mean, the one we're using is the attack damage attack damage for an entity and you can see all different ones you can use really not much information on here but this website does have a lot of information this is the actual minecraft wiki for attributes like i said i'll put it in the description below and this talks about everything and what i really like about this page is it tells you the default base and let me zoom it tells you the default base the minimum and the maximum for these actual attributes so you're able to be like hey I want the movement speed to be double for the panda. Well, I know the panda's original default one is 0.07. I'm going to make it 0.14. You know the default ones, you're able to actually double it and stuff, which is really nice. Really nice website right here. All right. All right. Now on my server. Let's get rid of everything in my item. Let's go grab a piece of dirt. And the command was slash bonus. Oh, there we go. Got that gold message saying transformed. And you can see we have an attack damage of a hundred. Now my old ones, it was uh, the command was transform. If I type in transform, you'll see I get this little enchanted effect. And really what I did was I added an enchantment and then hid the enchantment with an item flag. You can go ahead and do that if you want. But this is the one that we did right here has attack damage of 100 if i find something on this small island i might have to go oh there's a poor turtle out here if i punch it it dies instantly has an attack damage of 100. all right i hope you guys did learn something like i said i'll put the links in the description below and if you do have ideas for future episodes please let me know i know a lot of people want to see a mini game tutorial so i will be for the next week or so, I will be coding a Bed Wars plugin to the full extent of every single feature that probably Hypixel has. I'll be coding a huge Bed Wars plugin, and then eventually I'll actually release a series on how to code a Bed Wars plugin. Uh, but I really need some more ideas for these this series right here, this advanced series. What do you guys want to see? Please let me know in the comments below or on my Discord server. 
please like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next episode.